This bout is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the quarterfinals championship of Master League's Tournament 4 for Company of Heroes 3. You're looking at Momo for Show's United States Forces. He is the blue corner on crossroads. And he's up against, from France, it's Azilagath playing as, that's right, Luftwaffe. I'm a... And I can only apologise that every player has wanted to play Crossroads so far in all of my casts this weekend. I have not mandated the um, maps that are to be played. It is a veto system. And I'm reliably informed that today's co-caster, Orange Pest, he, um, he vetoes Crossroads. So if you don't like this map, you have uh, just, company. Just watch my games. <laughs> I did cast one of your games versus Theo you cast Orange Pest, but it was, wrong one. It was over too quickly. Two. You should have cast casted game two. It had some cool ass moments. Well, maybe we'll cast that after and you can uh, talk us through them. What is going on here? This is a cool moment. He's rolling out with oh, two Jeeps. Momo's going a two Jeep strategy. What is going on? I guess we're going to see an engineer follow up. This this seems incredibly risky, but he can get some good value early. I think he could actually put on a lot of pressure. Yeah, let, let's see if he can. Of course, he has fast deploy, giving production time reduction of 50%. One other thing to really take note here is the fact that uh, the Silicast went for the Catholic crash. It's actually going to leave him exposed to these cheats really easily. Mm. Especially with no snares on the field. Yeah, so you can be able to hunt it down. And uh, that's right, without the Grenadiers, you can just maraud with these Jeeps. Oh, oh, he loses one almost immediately! Oh, dear! Oh. And that's why you don't reverse into combat. Mm. Ouch. It was a, a cool start to the game for as long as it lasted. I'm not sure what he was... Planning with the double jeeps. Maybe it was a misclick. <laughs> a jeep too far. Let's see what he said. He said one burst on rear armor. Lol. Pretty weak. What is their rear armor? It's two apparently. Five five two. So that's not gonna do anything. That's like being coated in butter. Anytime they shoot, he's gonna get through. I think. Yeah, I think so. Rifleman squad deployed. Well, just normal rifle play from him now. Say the words, sir. Well, I remember getting some mines planted of the shoe variety from the Ketzenkrad. Laying the bait for the jeep to die then, though. Yeah. It's just a, a sacrificial jeep massacre game, seemingly. They really are getting absolutely destroyed so far. Just giving a lot of veterancy to the Wehrmacht. <laughs> Falcher Pioneers are absolutely wrecking them. Oh no. Never think outside the box, Orange Pest. Just play meta. That's what we're learning yes. from this game. Enemy in control meta is king. Points. So you win games. Even Orange Pest has had to forsake his beloved Deutsch Afrika Corps for a while. Yeah. Let's hope well, one day I'll get to play them again, but not for a couple of months well, until the patch yeah. gets released. There's a patch in late July or something at this point, so... Yeah, but I'll be uh, not old, so I can't have play. Well, you've got plenty of time to get acquainted in America, because you're going to want to compete for this $4,000 prize pool you've been getting into position to play for, surely. Yeah, but you said you're, you're delaying it to mid-August, right? Yeah, but... Like, the first okay, round the might time. be the second I'll, week of I'll, August. I'll, I've I'll got a red... I'll practice when I get home. I'll have two weeks. Oh, will you? I'm looking yeah. at, by the looks of things, neutralized. probably Saturday the 5th of August. Oh my god, that's literally, like, the day after I get home. There you go! The enemy oh, dear. Okay. Perfect! Have you ever heard of Red Bull? He's dead. Oh, man. All right, well... Oh, I'm glad that yeah, I'm glad you've confirmed you will be available to play on the 5th of August now. I'm not going to lose one of my top players. So that's really helped me out, uh, yeah, actually. I, I, I can't, I yeah, but leave. you will be in Sweden, won't you? Yeah, well, Oh, well, that's fine, I then. Leave, I, leave, I leave on the 4th. 
Oh, brilliant. It's almost like I've made this tournament for you and I've organized it for you. The number one seed will be able to play. Happy days. But will you be the number one seed? Oh, there's a mine there. Needs to be I mean, so far, looking at the Admiral score, it could be, right? Depends if you lose to Nagano. Well, I won't. It's no okay, that's all right then. Alpern seeds get smashed by being at DreamHack because, of course, we upped the MLR score slightly uh, and made the penalty slightly worse for not playing by five. I did show a bit of bias. I was going to up it by more than that and increase the penalty by more than that, but I felt it was harsh on Alpern. Um, so, yeah, he might be like seed four for the tournament. The next you one. will just have to see this. Uh, yeah, I'm not using a lot of that ML score right now. Yeah. I think I'm pretty far ahead right now. But I think so. Unfortunately, other than for like the top seven players, MLR has not really worked because the participation levels have been rather cliff facey. Let's let's call it. Territory is falling into enemy hands. Yeah, it's been weird. Uh, a lot of people stop playing. I think a lot of people it just waned really quickly when they realized they weren't able to compete with the good players. Yeah, and it's taught me that money isn't the greatest motivator, because we were offering like, I don't know, $400, $500 just for the mid-level players, and um, didn't keep them all playing. Other than Momo for show, and Barton, and Hulk Smash, those three. What happened to your buddy Demer? Demer's not played the last two uh, events. I, I, every time I talk to him, I, I give him shit. You should. Power. He's a coward, absolutely. He, he, does, coward. he does this thing where he just they makes excuses and then they're we pathetic. can't like, like oh but oh but next week I can't play or stuff like he that. He says stuff like he doesn't play computer games at the weekend. Points, uh, yeah, and that's a lie, by the way. <laughs> Havoc's in chat saying if you're looking for new recruits, Havoc, I would have loved you in the event, but sadly you uh, signed up a little bit too late. And I have no prior knowledge of you, so Hence why I allowed Von Ivan in, but sadly that havoc I did not allow you in. Zulu, I invited two or three times, and he kept saying no. Then he wanted to join. Cheap oh. hits are mine there. Yeah. Uh, Zulu has only himself to blame. Oh. I think I probably should have let havoc in, but it's a little bit late to let somebody that was number one on all the ladders. Oh, I have done low, low ELO Legends uh, before Stimpak Chopra. My version was called, uh, what did I call it, Orange Best? Something Olymp Noob I Olympics. I did not watch it because I didn't want to try the whole thing. Well, that's the whole point. We mock it in a full yeah, way. Yeah, but Dude, I once saw somebody put two Maxims in an M5 and drive around the map without the Maxims firing, thinking they were firing. With the crew members. Yeah, but the Maxims weren't firing. Yeah, but the crew members of the Maxim crew, man. Yeah, but that's, the that's machine really guns weren't firing. He drove two Maxims around in an M5. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, I miss Noob Olympics. When they give me observer that, mode, I'll be back on that. Just built? Huh? He, did Momo just build that Chaffee? Yeah, Chaffee! That's... That's all. I'm not sure. I'm not getting the reasoning for the chat. Unless he's expecting like a P4. Reports of enemy movement near our victory point. Yes! I'm gonna use his rifles over here. It seems that like Momo's having a lot of casualties recently. Oh I do not think the Kettencrad does well in this matchup. Well it's got a couple of mice if I've been in the middle of the bit we're losing our ca A victory point is under attack. We must act. I've noticed, by the way, uh, mine kills do not show up on the kill counter. Oh! Enemy Thanks, that orange person. Out of supply. They've cut us off. Typically. Well, you just have to somehow get in touch with the Cuban. What you want to do for that is to go on Relic Entertainment's LinkedIn and find former staff members. <laughs> figure out who he is. This, this is like a mod, right? Yeah, it is a mod, but it's a mod that requires 
deep knowledge of the game files, basically. Sounds like someone else like crouching as well. Though. Maybe they would just do the community a favor. Far more than the company did. <laughs> now, now. A victory point has fallen into enemy control. Relic, we're all doing the right things. It just takes them a very, 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 very long time. Do you remember that period, Code 2, where there was like one patch every six months? Yeah. That was so much fun. It was fun, but at the time, everybody was so mean to Mr. Smith and Mirage Floor who followed him. They were like vile to I don't know why they did it. Hopefully they were paid. I think Mirage was actually paid. I remember Jacob Jack saying that. Yeah, I think I hope so. I think he was a contractor, yeah. I hope he was anyway. Because uh, it takes a lot of work. Considering like, what they have to put up with, yeah. Oh my Good god. Lord. I, I remember I wasn't the kind of silent. No, you wouldn't have been. I mean, Helping Hands once did a mock execution of uh, Mr. Smith in um, PUBG, so yeah, it's, it's not not the best position to be a community mo <laughs> modder for the balance of the game. It's a lot of stress to have on your shoulders. Oh, Stugginator's out. Big Stuggy. And Silligas doing really well this game, Orange Pestle. He's put a lot of pressure down. He's done all the right things. He's had an excellent battle line across the e from the central to the east of Crossroads. He's just played a tight game. He's played a good, solid game. I feel like awesome Momo just kind of took a gun, shot himself on the foot the moment the game started. Yeah. And ever since then, he's been playing catch up. Yeah. I mean, Double Jeep can theoretically put in some serious work. But you also have to not, you know, immediately lose your jeep three minutes into the game. Commander, the enemy holds all victory all right, we've got Veteran C1 on all tier 1 infantry and weapons for Zilligath now. Lions arrive. A munitions point is being attacked. And that means the Stug has, of course, the point-blank shot that you have to be careful about. Yeah, the infantry deletion button. So much fun. Is this like after the tall Frenchman at GCS3 or the short Frenchman at GCS3? Did he have a beard? There was one called like Miriath. I think called, he was Zilligath. the shorter yes, guy. Yes, I think so. He looked the most brainy. Oh, that was a big shot from the stud. This captain could die in one shot if he's not careful. Oh, the building's just about alive. He still could die, actually. Yep, he did. When AE sees the problem, you know there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, this is. Oh, oh, you got a garrison kill counter too. That's hilarious. <laughs> Enemy building destroyed. It's better than Co2 stat tracking already, to be honest. Literally in the future, man. The AI has been replaced by Momo. Honestly, if I was Momo in this situation, I would straight up just go for like double chassis all in. Yeah. Because you're still you're still for the EC8 anyway. Um, at this at this rate, you're not making it to late game. Uh, that much is already clear. No. You might as well just try and knock out the stud. Yeah, that'd be one way back in. It looks like he is doing something aggressive, sprinting in with his rifles. Chaffee does have an option to actually did have an option to get the stud there. The problem is current uh, circle straight studs. What? I thought the Chaffee can. I thought it was one of the few vehicles that can. Uh, can I don't know if the Chaffee can, but in my experience, I don't even bother circle strafing units like Martyrs and Stugs. No, I think the Chaffee is one of the few vehicles that actually can on this test. Barely. Even if, could, even if you could theoretically, tapping would probably screw you over. <laughs> You'll just get like. No offense to uh, Relic, but. This tapping is straight up dog shit. Yeah, it's awful. That's why with the mighty. Like, I, I lost an 8 rag yesterday because my 8 rag caught on an AT gun that wasn't even near it. Oh, the, the pathing around AT guns is particularly terrible. It's it's really bad, actually. But, uh, Every day I go to bed praying that Devon will fix it. Just a little, 
a little tiny, 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 tiny statue that's life size of Devem, and you pray to it. Please, tiny Devem, fix the pathing. No, I yeah, refuse. I play in the background the videos he's made of his guys. <laughs> his guys were legit, man. Really good. Like the, uh, like it's just it probably were if you weren't like if you're not good at the game, you probably would get a lot of use out of it. I don't know. There was some stuff like for mid-level players that was just. It sounds common sense, but when you have someone like Devm telling you, you find like, oh, so I've only got two rifles. I shouldn't push. I should wait until I've got all four and then wait a bit longer until I've got something else and then push. And it's better to only push when you're actually going to get results. And it was just like, makes so much common sense. But when he spelled it out in those videos, I was like, ah, yeah, makes that's good. I like it. Because there's a lot of mid, even high level, le allegedly high level tournament players will literally. T when they haven't got their full army ready, they'll still try and push, and then they'll still have to retreat, and then they end up... Yeah, but some, sometimes you have to push. It's not as, like, simple as just having all the units together. I mean, I mean, what Devon says, is Orange best. Con That's not yeah, what like, Devon says. I, I could beat Devon. No, you couldn't. Uh, he lost to Napoleon No, Cold you couldn't. So, you literally like, couldn't uh, beat Devon Orange best. You I could. De yeah, Devem, he, Devem has won more tournaments than you've been in. You've won one tournament! You've won one! He's won 22! He's won 22! He's won three world championships and 22! I don't care how much he's won. He could be the fucking grandmaster. He is! I could still beat him, it doesn't fucking matter. But you haven't! I have! Like, also match doesn't count. Custom scrim in preparations for tournaments. Count. Oh, not that we ever saw them. I I beat Love Nest in every custom scrim yeah, we ever had. Yeah, of course you can see it. Fucking scrub this from existence. <laughs> What's this bunker? That's cute. It's that might be good, good actually. Well, it's going to upgrade, surely. Is it, does it like what is like? Is it is it like a garrison or something? <laughs> I don't know, it's a love shack. I mean, you throw Baby throw the love the shack. I've got me a bunker the size of a whale. Planted in the middle of crossroads. Enemy movement here at victory point. How did does anybody know how he built this wooden bunker? I'm amazed. Don't delete it, Momo, you savage. Ah, damn it. Point is under enemy control. Anybody in chat, be honest, has anybody ever built that bunker in a game before? Be completely honest. Put your hands up, because I'd love to speak to you. I built a, a concrete bunker. Yeah, a wooden bunker, Orange Pest. What does it even do? Nobody knows. How did it happen? <laughs> I'm genuinely... I'm concerned, like, he's hacking or something. I mean, maybe there's, like, some secret thing to it. Like... I guess theoretically, um, if it's just a straight up garrison and you have this fair manpower, although I don't know why you wouldn't keep the manpower, you could probably garrison an MG in there. Shimpak says there's a daily mission to build five of them, but no one in chat's ever built one. We're not sure how he built it, <laughs> or why, or where it came from. <laughs> well, it certainly happened. This Chaffee has two infantry kills, a Kettenkrad kill, so, yeah. It's not really been able to stop a Zilligas at this point, but Momo is beginning to apply more pressure. God, that mortar's loud. All right, we've got Stoss Trooper now. These guys have been quite popular in Company Heroes 3 recently. They really begin to, uh, you know, popularize themselves. Yeah, I'm not, I don't get this fascination with uh, the following commander. Because part, like, even though you have skill play, personally, to me, the other commanders still give you so much more raw power. Right, here it is. Yeah. 
most popular call in incoming heroes 3 the easy eight it's been that way since pre-alpha beta early release release every patch victory point now under enemy control Good. One way to counter the Sloth Trooper as well. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, what? Momo's really beginning to claim some of the map back now as well. He's putting good pressure in the north, although he's in a bit of jeopardy. The Shafi may not as well exist due to its tight AoE profile. Actually got a kill there. A rare kill. It's up to four. Well, mate, it's still in some fun. I just don't see the point of the chat. Feels like it's accomplished very little. Mm. Alright, we have the Panzer IV into con under construction. Not a bad idea. We do have the Pack 40 out, of course. So, yeah, it's going to be a decent co combat this easy 8 that's beginning to run rampant. A lot of health damage so far. Not many kills, but a lot of health damage. We're losing a fuel point. And the Grenadiers keeping the central victory points. Keeping the pressure on Momo. Meanwhile, Panzer Paul goes east. So the engineers are going to get forced away in no time. Back in the north, Pioneers. Riflemen doing their capping work. Chaffee not doing much at all. Sector. Right now, actually, I think the situation favors Momo. Just marginally, thanks to the fact that the ECA plus Chaffee and the double AT guns are just going to steamroll the single Panzer for it. If he kept that Stug alive, it'd be a bit different, but alas, it did bite the dust. And Momo's been able to stabilize since there, so. Just amazing after an early game loss such as the Jeep, and I think he lost his scout as well. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, it, was, it was a disaster opening, to be honest, but managed to call himself back in anyway. Yeah, he really has been able to stabilize there. The grenade launcher being a bit of a nuisance as well. Yeah, victory point wise, he's really gotten back into this. The Easy 8's up to 6 kills already, that's 48 to 59. Momo to Ozilagoth, not counting mine kills. Oh, and the, oh, exactly, Ormond. The captain died in the building as well, so Momo sustained three early to mid losses. And he was playing a little bit, I don't know, sluggishly, really. He seems to have gotten a bit tighter and woken up a bit, basically. Yeah, it really does. Cheesy 8 has saved the day. For a second M1 as well now for Momo. It's beginning to stay low. He's got a lot of friendly fire there. Ouch. He's got a lot of stability. What does Ozilagath do next then on his best? How is he going to reclaim the initiative? Right now, he's going to need to at least decrew the weapons to wait for the, the skill points. Do you advocate for a Nibelwerfer, perhaps? Uh, it could be useful here to find that it's a very hit or mess. I think he needs to prioritize another pack. Right, the pressure's on. Got an MG. The grenades. The Stoss Troopin. The line is collapsing. The Chaffee's been forced away as well. And we do have a Panzer Grenadier pushing in. This is a great assault by Azilagav. The Frenchman's on fire. Territory lost. enemy fire! The sector's been overrun. It's theirs now. Ooh, Panzer IV being broadsided. Needs to be careful. Needs to back away. We've got sprinting riflemen coming for him. They've had a lot of side hits. He rolls over his own mind to safety. VPs are not looking good for Momo. And he's just come under a lot of pressure. But he kept his material alive. He just lost position.
pack building for Ozilligaf. Momo's waiting for his 100 fuel necessary. He's got 161, so must be, I guess, manpower he needs. He needs 640 manpower to get a second easy eight there. It looks like uh, Momo's gonna go for another EC8 kill. We're, just, we're basically just waiting for the moment for EC8 yeah. bump up. Make the poisonous kill planes to kill them both. That's why he lost so much on the map though, because of course he needed the manpower so he couldn't fight battles. He was hard retreating for a while. But yeah, I wonder if he's taken auto reinforce off. He might as well keep some of these low uh, manpower squads off the field for a while. It, and it's giving uh, a silly gap away back into this game for sure, because right now you can just uh, play defensively, not go super aggressive, because Momo isn't really trying to attack either. But I assume he's also kind of uh, afraid of the skill planes, because he knows he's up against the water. Roger that. We won't reinforce without your word. Bugs already is pushing in, causing the AT guns problems. There is a sneak, there is a mine somewhere around. There it is! It actually hurts the engineers that laid it! Ouch! Both players falling asleep at the wheel in this west, it seems. Right then. Yeah, this is uh, things, things really happening. They're just, just waiting essentially to pull the trigger. They are. They're waiting to get this uh, second easy eight out, and then he's going to become more aggressive. There's the option now. How long will it take him to realise? Momo can get it. And there we go. We've got two easy eights, a vet two Shafi. We've got three riflemen, two AT guns, two assault engineers. A Vet 2 Mortar, and he's up against Falchion, two, two Falchion Pioneers. Vet 2 Pack in Cloak Mode. Um, Panzer 4 just that. being finished repaired. Pioneers that repaired them. We've got Panzer Grenadiers Vet 2, another pack. Vet 2 MG. Over here we've got those Stoss Troop, and then back in base we had another Panzer Grenadier squad. He's also uh, put a fuel cache, a munitions cache down on his munitions. He's, I think he's just deployed another Panzer 4 as well. He's getting side skirts and he has indeed just built another Panzer IV. It's just arrived here. Good call by Orange Fest there. Hits the rear armor on the Vet 2 easy 8 but the other one should be close at hand. Pack 40 is pushing forward in the smoke. This game's about to heat up, Orange Fest. Yeah, it's just both. So close to just popping off, but. Being a bit, I think they're a bit hesitant because they really want an engagement that's completely and overwhelmingly in favor of their uh, their side. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's 91. I do wonder what the, the commander choices for Silicap has done. He could have gone for a black 88 here, but that actually wouldn't be a bad call. Shafi exposes itself, needs to be careful, it's going in harm's way as well. Meanwhile, the AZ8's in peril. He gets a fadeaway shot away, but here come the Stukas. you got to be careful. you got to be really careful when the Stukas are afoot. Oh, just dodged. That was pretty much sure. So close to coming for another pass, though, but he's outside the reticle now. Meanwhile, Panzer IV comes and into trouble. He's going to roll forward. He gets it with a double M18 guns. Azilagath loses a vital panzer there. Yeah, this... This was very well on the uh, defender from Momo, but I think Azilagath here just not really utilizing the advantage he had. How? Those panzer guns but in position to just rush down those AT guns. Yeah, he's, he's done it now, but it's a little bit too late. He's already lost his Panzer IV. Maybe he can destroy this one, take the other. That would be a nice pickup for him. Let's see if that's what he does. Oh, he's turned about upon the, uh, the Sherman there. He's recruited the one closest. You forget just how big this version of Crossroads is. The, 
journey to base is quite a long way. I have to trek across the entire map, but I don't think it can actually defend the AT gun. But even if he gets the crew here, that's not easier for him to destroy. And harder for uh, exactly. Almost the Oh, he gets it. Two AT guns down for a moment. Think about the manpower investment he's just lost out on. It's it's substantial, but being down offensive four. Oh, maybe a few guys. Maybe Shafi comes into trouble. Easy eight gets the kill. Momo's fighting back now, but Chaffee goes down. I think, I think right now Momo just needs to go in. The skill points have been used. Packs are out of position. I think now it's the time to go. Oh, Panzer IV about to die. Oh, the mine! <laughs> the mine soaks up the shot because of the bug where if a, shell, a tank shell travels over a mine. Both explode. Panzer IV escapes as a result of that bug. Mines win games, but not always in the way you intend, Orange Best. In this game, mines are counted by shells. <laughs> yeah. No, shells are counted by mines. Yeah, true. But then again, if you kill a mine with a shell, you're basically winning resources for free. Yeah, but you didn't kill the tank that you wanted to kill. Well, the Panzer IV would have lived with like one HP. Yeah, but there was an Easy 8 that was thinking of flanking in, and maybe if yeah, it was yeah. one shot away. Yeah, but they could have been more mines. Okay. Sometimes mines counter shells, but other times shells counter mines. How about that? That's not fair enough, yeah. <laughs> right then. Another Panzer IV on its way. This game has legs. Momo has 116 victory points. Meanwhile, Azilagath, 272. Defend our victory point. We're losing it. Hmm, this game's turned out to be quite well. You can tell it's good because Orange Best and I are actually concentrating on the casting now rather than doing a podcast. <laughs> well, I was enjoying the podcast, to be fair. MG42! Oh, you bought the podcast. Maybe we're just control. talking at the start of the game and we're not actually casting. I, got it pinned down over here. Right. I do have to leave after this game, though. Yeah, that's fine. Gives me time to cook some dinner. Alright, Stoss Troopin versus Rifleman. I don't like the Rifleman's chances in this one. Surely a grenade's going to get tossed eventually. I don't want to look at all. The Panzer IV turns it in Azilagath's favour. Goes stationary, gets a big shot off. Just misses on the rifle. Meanwhile, in the west, we've got Assault. Engineers somehow surviving the gauntlet there. Alright. I feel a little bit ADHD, so I'm going to do this. We. Improved vehicle production. We landed in the sensor, that's perfect. I think the manpower reduction that uh, Silagap used is actually one of the few things that's keeping him in the game. Mm. Just on a sheer attrition level. Well, the losses have been rather severe this game. Yeah, but you always got to keep in mind you've got the medics recovering models at all times. Uncounterable so, medics. I really do hate that yeah, mechanic. Super fun mechanic. Um, in, in, in in practice, it means that even though the kills are even, uh, the US players are objectively ahead. Especially. Yeah. Which is why he's able to field as many tanks as he has. I just really hope they add a Geneva Convention Reduction mod to the game. So they can start killing paratroopers and killing medics. Shot there, and Easy 8's got his rear armor exposed. Doesn't actually do that much health damage. The health pool on an Easy 8's massive at 840. It is one of the best tanks in the game. You cannot be the best tank in the game by far. He's gonna have two vet three Easy 8s, so if he carries on, this one's getting close to uh, there. It's a big wipe, I believe. Or possibly that guy's the one with the truth, I can't quite tell. Meanwhile, Panzer IV's in the center, Salt Engineer's in peril. Pack 40 opens up on the easy 8. He has to hide behind the husk of that garrison. Falsham Pioneers pushing. 
and do a bit of spotting in the west. Got another Panzer IV. Locked in combat with the Vet 3 Easy 8. Everybody's game to win at this point. Zilligaf has the VP advantage, but Momo has that massive tank advantage with the veteran Easy 8s. More than enough to contend with the uh, Panzer Force. Well, Zilligaf is sitting on almost 300 units, so we're just going to come down to basically the skill things at this point. More than likely. But, uh, I just don't know if it's enough. His arm is crumbling in every direction. I feel like his overall uh, strategy and play lacks like a. I don't know how you know, how I describe it, but like a goal, sort of. Kind of just fighting for ground. It's not really doing much. So the stalemate basically just keeps continuing in Momo's favor. When you should be looking for an opening, trying to even the army compositions out. Yeah, definitely. He did have a few good assaults, to be fair to him. But I think Momo defended so well, it's kind of deterred Azilligaf from doing it again. Yeah. I mean, now there's no ET guns to fall back on. It's one of the big things. It does leave a giant gap in Momo's lines, but I guess I could exploit that. Momo's got three easy eights, and they're all pushing in from different directions, possibly, at the moment. Is he going to think about... He's going to tech grenades as well. Meanwhile, he's been pushed away by grenades. I just realized the Silligap has built two munitions catchers. Oh yeah. Just wants to spam those lights, those strays, it seems. I was wondering why he had such munitions. That'll be why. Rifleman in peril in here is why. Let's get eyes on those. Like oh man! So cool! It barely hurt the tank, by the way. It barely hurt it. Meanwhile, assault engineers, they were... was premature. I just feel like the silly gap is just going to get grinded down here, buddy. This right is not really much of a go. Players in chat, please don't talk about the game as it's going on. Number one rule of my switch stream. Patterns of fours. Oh, and the strafe putting so much work down. Azilegath may now use the the air cover to get some results, but meanwhile, Moma for shows Easy Eight to getting results of their own. That two Panzer four feeling aggressive. May not be yeah, wise. Sort of the perfect chance to use the skill play. man. One of our strategic points is under attack. So glad that bug is still a thing. The little uh, flying icon plane, so cool. <laughs> flying away. That's how you know they don't despawn. They go and actually land. I want to know where they go. I wonder if you can still see them somewhere, but beyond the hills. All crews, repair and refit at once. Maybe there's a whole like sequence we don't see. They go home to their families, and they have some hot soup and Bavarian close. beer. Well, that, that can't be right, because they come back to the battlefield for another run. Well, okay, they're just hanging around, ready for the next recce, then. Oh. Yeah. The next sorty, <laughs> sorry. Twiddling their thumb. Yeah. They have the arbitrary number now, we could go. No. Come on, Bigglesworth, we've got to go back to battle! Get in your Spitfire! Slash Messerschmitt. Come on, Hans! I can only do British um, World War II military pilots because that's in my culture. I just see the well, Luftwaffe as the baddies. You are afraid of offending the German community. The Germans are all baddies. And the modern Germans as well. Oh! What a shot there by the Easy 8. He's kiting these pack 40s. Does decrew one of them and is still around the side of the other one. Meanwhile, we've got more aggression here from Momo. He's pushing in from two other directions. He's got to get around the side. Panzer IV still in the centre. Meanwhile, what's happening with the AT guns? He's wiped both of them. Panzer Grenadiers coming in. We've got a Panzer IV just going stationary for the accuracy. But here comes another easy eight. Vet three. Does he escape with the first one? But no, there's Luftwaffe coming in. This is going to hurt. Apparently. 
No, but all these Oh, this is a half track we have for recruit of that I Smart. Nice! He is recruiting everything. It's good work. He can get his pack 40s back into battle sooner rather than later. And he does it to great effect, taking out one of the Shermans. Good play by Azilagath there. That was cool. That, uh, that probably the entire system was nice, but he was just about to block. Side hits on the Panzer Fours and those. Oh, that, that is greedy from one one. Might fire through the bushes now. Oh, yeah. One more shot and he's done for. Oh, the Panzer IV. That was the target. Became the Predator there. And the Easy Eights have all fallen except for this fella back in base. Yeah, that's bad. Clear. Clutch 2-5-1. I like it. You don't see that enough, do you, Orange Pest? Like, whilst the battle's going on, you get the half track out, you reinforce all the AT guns. No, that's that's probably the first time I've seen it. That was badass. Azilagath, you've got a famous possible victory here if this carries on. And uh, that was a sick play, man. I'm going to call this replay Half Track Wins a Tank Battle. Question, one more, yeah, question, more. Yeah, they pretty much did. They killed off the ETA, they got hit by a hit of mine. And then the other ETA got way too greedy, because I don't think Momo had realized the, uh, the halfbacks that recruit all the ETA guns. All the Zilligath in chat has said, I got the half track because it didn't have any pop for a third Panzer four. You shouldn't say that. If you're being accused of genius, you should just roll with it, my friend. They've captured a victory point. <gasps> Did everybody hear the weird amnesia noise? Did they hear it? Oh my god, it sends shivers down my spine every time I hear it. I do know it exists now as well. I have it on proof on a... That's somewhere on a clip. Right, Azilagath has uh, a tactical... Battle group in the center. Very difficult one to break. And Momo's victory point count is beginning to suffer. He's had to push to the north, try and cap the one there. Meanwhile, in the south, he's laying some mines with his engineers. Rifleman are using the cover of mortar smoke to get onto that central victory point. Somehow the MG42 hits them anyway. I think it's this guy's fault over here. Staying on point. Oh, he's wiping the pack 40. That's a good idea, but he's only got the one easy eight to follow up now. Meanwhile, we've got those delayed fuses on the Vet 3 Wehrmacht MG. Stripping, getting easy ated to the face. This could be a wipe. Oh, could be a wipe. How little health. He has five health. Five. He's going to go in for it. Well, he a missed. Powerful infantry unit in the Basilica's roster, too. He says. I bet Momo's one doesn't survive. He has zero health. Yeah, there you go. Mortar team destroyed. Down to only 50 points. I think uh, Zilligath is hacking. That's more like it. Sherman Easy 8 reporting in. Don't worry though. Just keep losing your entire army and then keep clicking that button. That's how USF players play. Big shout out to the 251. A little smiley face. Spawning men. That's what he likes to do. Well, we've got a hold fire on this 76 mil Sherman. And we've got one going around the side, so Momo's going for one last assault here, Orange Best. Let's uh, wish He's him luck. He's going to have to really play. 
make something happen here because I running out of time and quick. Yeah, his, his engineers aren't in battle either. He's got four assault engineers as well now. Two riflemen. The assault engineers are a little bit lackluster to say the least. We have vehicles ready to be dispatched to the front. Sandbags completed. Victory point situation stabilizes on 29 for Momo for now. Oh, this is going to attack the Panzer Ball. The Pack 40 is not facing the right way at the moment. Flag raised. Now what? All quiet on the Western Front for now. Mine. Ouch, there's an engine damage critical. Pat 40 can pick him off easily. And the CCH is just going to go in. Needs to get results and needs them now. Drives into the pack. Oh no. Oh no. You know what that means. Oh! Gonna recruit the pack in the heat of battle. Meanwhile, in the centre, we've got assault engineers trying to get in. But we've got another pack in the meanwhile. And there's the Luftwaffe. Those Stukas destroying it. There's the MVP half track down. So at least he got a token mor moral victory, at least. And GG has been called. Momo says th three packs, Lel. GG's. And there's a massive victory for GCS3 legend, Azilagath, beating uh, a famous name in the tournament scene, and Momo for show. He's been a, a mainstay of the tournament scene since around 2016. So, uh, well played to Azilagath. Yeah, very well played defense. I'm punishing Momo for uh, making a very big mistake in the early game. And then stabilizing once more. And uh, he, as I say, there was really spirited defense with the 2 5 1. Uh, well played. Good stuff. Let's call it there. As the well, we'll let the victory points tick down. We'll let them tick down. Only got a few to go. Just gonna enjoy the awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, I was kept hoping you'd say GG, but you never did. If you'd said GG, I would have rolled the Master League Stinger. There we go. Oh, well, I don't have to face. <laughs> That was a good game, that. Thanks for casting that with me, Orange Pest. Yeah, it was fun. Now I've uh, got to run off, unfortunately. No worries. Feel free to leave. Um, but I will confirm the finals, the Master League finals uh, event will be three days in August. The 6th, sorry, the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th. Um, oh, man. I'm so... going to have to clear up my schedule and stuff. Yeah, so Orange Pest can play in that. And let's go and have a look at the brackets before you go, Orange Pest. Let's uh, see where we lie now. Um, next Saturday, we will be treated to three best of threes as AE casts... Oh, no, I'll probably only be able to cast two, actually. And then I'll try and cast the semi after, I guess, or something. Uh, uh, wait, how come it's very... What seed is he? Three. Why is he seeded higher than Nogano? Right. Because Nogano joined the Master League season really late with a really low auto match no. score. He's already eight, and... After... We need we need more players back, because... Uh... Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I know. Well, um, Nagano was actually pretty bad when he first started. Was Did he play in Master League 2? No. He didn't play... He only played in Master League 3, and... How did he do? He was seed eight in Master League 3, I think. Oh, no, he did play in Master League 2. His his story so far is he lost to Elpern 2-0. He beat Momo 2-0. He beat y y uh, Yamaira and Broth 3-1. Um, then he lost to Jibba 2-0. He beat Momo 2-0 <laughs> again. Poor Momo. And he beat Farley and 3-0. 
And now in ML4, he beat Prabati 2-0, Kauzak 2-0. So it does seem like he's gotten better. Uh, mostly thanks to Momo. <laughs> Sorry, Momo. But uh, the interesting thing is this Orange Pest. Basically, if Ray doesn't play, and we assume he won't, because um, I think it'd be pretty BM if he checks in, to be fair. But if It would be funny, though. It would be funny. I can't say he shouldn't because he's not done anything wrong. He's taken his um, DK penalties. He played in the first one. He hasn't, like, checked in and then not played. He just didn't check in. So he's not broken any rules. But if he doesn't check in, we have two people that can take the eighth place. Nagano, of course, is pretty much guaranteed top eight now. Momo, I don't think it's possible for him. I'm not sure. I think it's between... Hulk Smash and Theodosios, basically. Um, and well, it's top 16, right? Yeah, to, you know, to get top 8 for this finals event. Isn't the finals six, 16? Nah, we're players? just doing 8. We're doing 8. We're doing 8. Okay. I kept like changing my mind, but I think top 8 is that most hype way to do it. So we're just going to do best All of 5s. Right. We're going to do top 8. It's going to be a whole thing. Um, but anyway, basically, look at this. If Theodosios beats Barton 2-0... And Hulk Smash beats Von Ivan 2 0. They end with the exact same MLR 1484. <laughs> well, at least they have to do a, they have to do a, a separate show match. Yeah, exactly. They have to do a separate show match. So I just I clocked that this morning. I thought it was badass. So it shows the system. It can be cool at times. It can be incredibly unfair, but it also can be cool. Well, uh, I think it's super fair. I've had no problems with it at all. Because <laughs> you've been in the top eight every tournament. <laughs> Well, that's called being good at the game. Yeah, all you need to do is Maybe if the other scrubs below actually won, you could also experience being good. <laughs> oh, man. That's brutal. It says you beat Jibba 3-2. I don't remember that series. Did I? Was it bad? Did I delete it from my brain for a reason? I have no idea. I can't remember. Can you? Is that really something that happened? <laughs> Like, I've cast too I much just, stuff, man. I, I, like, I, do, I just remember Jibber went to deck in the final game. The oh, game that was it. It was like... That was it. I cast it with that Vector guy that makes me look bad. And, like... Yeah. I just remember you were being really angry because they picked that and basically just threw the game and I steamrolled them. I was angry, actually, yeah. I was not angry. I was more disappointed, I'd say. Like a, a disappointed parent, you know. I'm not angry. Yeah. I'm just disappointed, Jibber. And yeah, it could have been, could have been so good. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty. Good... I, I just hope. Uh, 